Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Construct parallel lines Construct triangles wherein we will look at all the criteria that is SSS criteria, SAS criteria, ASA criteria and RHS criteria. Practical geometry. So here we will look at the practical part of geometry. So in geometry we learn about different shapes. So we learn about circles, triangles, rectangles, lines, line segments. So that's all. Those are the things that come under geometry. So here we will look at the practical aspect of geometry. That is we will learn how to draw these different shapes. Now if I ask you, let, let me give you a very simple task. Now you all know what are lines. You all know what are parallel lines. So two lines which never meet each other. They are parallel lines. Now let's say that I ask you to draw two lines which are parallel to each other. Now so you need to draw two lines which are exactly parallel to each other. That means they should, the distance between the two lines should remain the same throughout. So let's say you draw one line like this and now you have to draw another line which is parallel to this line. Now you draw another line as well. But what happens is once you have drawn this line, how will you be sure whether the line is exactly parallel to the given line or not? Because you see, you tend to make slight modifications, you know, sometimes tilting it down, sometimes tilting it up just to ensure when it is it exactly parallel. So the main question here is how can I be sure that the line is parallel? So I can definitely draw two lines but sometimes the difference between the two lines is such that they look like parallel but they are not actually parallel. So what can be done? So for that we will learn how systematically we can draw two parallel lines or how we can draw a line parallel to a given line. So now we will follow a certain process, a certain system and we will make sure that the line that we draw is exactly parallel to a given line. So what are we waiting for? Let's quickly get started. So you would need a couple of things to do constructions. So the first thing is a ruler a pencil, a compass. So these are the three things which are like mandatory to do these constructions. Without these, you cannot do them. So once you have all of these, let's get started. So how do we draw parallel lines? Let's say, what do you see on the screen right now? You see a line. Now we have to draw a line parallel to this line. So how are we going to proceed about it? So we will look at it step by step. So this is your given line. So the first thing that you need to do is you mark any point A on the given line. So let us say that, let, let's name this given line. Let us say that this line is L. This is the name of this line. Now we have marked any point A on this line and we have also identified a point B outside the line. So this B can be here, it could have been here, it could have been here, anywhere basically. So you just mark a point B outside the line. So why are we marking this point B? Because we will draw a line here which would be parallel to L. So we are basically going to draw a line such that B is a point on that line. Now the way A is a point on the line L, similarly B would be a point on that line which would be parallel to L. So that is the only purpose of considering this point B. So you have considered these two points A on the line and B outside the line. In the next step you join these two points, that is you join A and B. Perfect. Now what do we do in the next step? So here we are going to measure the angles. Now, is, is anything coming to your mind? Is, is there any concept that is coming to your mind related to parallel lines? How do we know that two lines are parallel? What are the properties of two parallel lines? Now, we know that for two parallel lines, their alternate angles are equal, their corresponding angles are equal, right? So, these are the properties of parallel lines. So, we will make use of those properties to draw a parallel line. 
So what are we trying to do here is, so what we have basically done here is, we have considered A as the center, taking A as center, we have drawn an arc like this. Similarly, taking B as center, we have drawn an arc like this. Now we have made sure that we have kept the same radius, like you have kept the needle of the compass here and you have drawn this arc. Now keep this compass in the same position, take it here, keep the needle here and then draw this arc. So that's how you draw this arc. Then what do you do next? Now you take the compass and measure this angle. So how will you measure this angle? You keep one end of the compass here and the other end of the pencil here. So that's how you measure this angle. Now once you have measured this angle, what are you going to do now? You need to make sure that the interior alternate angles are equal. So if we want to draw a line somewhere here, then this angle and this angle, they would be inter interior alternate angles. So what we do, the same measurement, we do not alter the position of the compass. We keep it in the same position, place it here. So one point is here and wherever the other point is, we mark that point. So we have marked this point as H. Right? Now what we do? All we need to do is we just join point B and H and we draw a straight line. So this line M is now parallel to L. Why is M parallel to L? That's because let's, let's call this as angle 1 and this as angle 2. That's because angle 1 is equal to angle 2 which is nothing but alternate interior angles. So how did we construct two parallel lines? We basically made sure that the alternate angles are equal. Now you can do the same thing to make corresponding angles equal. Maybe you could have measured this angle like the same way we did now and then you could have ensured that this angle is equal. Like let's say if you would have drawn this line like this, then you could have also done something like this, that this angle and this angle, they are equal. So that, that's also another possibility. So basically this is the process that we follow to ensure that the line we draw, that is the line M is exactly parallel to line L. So I hope the concept is clear that how do we draw parallel lines by ensuring that the alternate angles are equal or the corresponding angles are equal. So we chose the alternate angles to be equal. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.